I have a go question on. for you. Oh, Jesus. We need to talk. We're going to go back to Scrummy for a second. Scrummy and Yummy. Although Yummy isn't really British. Scrummy is so British. Um, right. But I just hear some... I have had people write Yummy on text messages in group threads, and I've had a very strong reaction to it. I haven't said anything, <laughs> but I'm telling you now. So me and Lauren uh, have come up with a list of British slang words mm -hmm. that we would like you to define for us. Cool. Okay. Um, so the first one is wanker. Sorry. Wanka. Wanka. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, the literal is someone who, you know, wanks off, who jerks off. It's like a guy you see around the, around the So alleyway. yeah. So he's a, you know, it's kind of a stronger version of <laughs> tool, I guess. Like if you're a wanker, it's not so terrible, but you know, okay. it's like you're, an, you're an idiot. What's bullocks? Oh, Bo bullocks. Bollocks. 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 Bollocks are your balls. <laughs> okay. But or so kinda... something can something can be, you know, you can just use it as an, an ex, ex, expletive. It's like bollocks. Oh, uh -huh, it's like oh, uh -huh. god damn it, bollocks. Yeah. You know? Or you can have like someone kick me in the bollocks. That's very uncomfortable. That's like so basically we're like dick, and like ah nuts. That's uh, basically nuts. where we're yeah, at. Yeah, it's our nuts. Yeah. Okay. What about tosser? Tosser is, uh, yeah, it's kind of along the lines of wanker. Because it means the same thing. It's to, to a tosser is somebody who tosses, tossing it out tosses off. Into the world. To what? <laughs> tossing it? <laughs> no, it's just tossing. That's... You're tossing. But tossing what? <laughs> you see? I don't think he gets it. So, like, tossing is actually means you're, uh, you uh, know. You're, you're a wanker. Yeah, you're jerking. Yeah, you're a wanker. You're jerking off. So it's another, it's another term for tosser. But I'd say that's more, like, you could, I could call a mate a wanker. Uh -huh. But toss, I don't know. Maybe that's just how I use it. I would use toss it like that toss over it'd there. It would be like, it would be like calling, a, calling a friend a dick, but like you call somebody you don't like an asshole. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. I like that. I like that. That's how I would use it. So anyway. Um, all right. Cocked up. Cocked up. Yeah. This means it's just something's gone wrong. It's like it's all cocked up. It's all, it's all cocked up. Like. So it's, it's almost like saying bad. it's been fucked. It's cocked up. It's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I think it's a little less strong than fucked up. Uh, yeah, it's cocked up is you know a little lighter, I think. Okay, so if cocked up means that things have been uh, messed up, what yeah. does tits up mean? The same thing, really, but it's just a nice. <laughs> it just depends on what you're feeling. Are you gonna go for cock or tits? It's like yeah. <laughs> it got it cocked up. It went tits up. Tits up, yeah. Tits up just means it's all, you know what I mean? Like, my whole day went tits up. It means it just fell by the wayside. It was a disaster, or it just, or it didn't work out. You know? If you were upset about it, about the way that your day went yeah. badly, would you say cocked up or tits up? I'd probably go with cocked up for me. Because you're mad about it. A little bit more. Would you say tits up if tits you Tits up were, has a little more joviality yeah, if to you were it, like, a touch. You were, you were drinking yeah. with your pals and you're like, Bah! Oh, that went tits up, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that, I would I would agree with that one. That's funny. I like how you're deciphering this like British to American <laughs> dictionary over here, urban dictionary. Um, do you have a favorite term that you use all the time? Well, tits up is one of my favorite terms and I think Lauren knows that and I think a lot of authors <laughs> I work with know that because <laughs> it, now it pops up here and there. Um, you, well, I said one the other day. I have a lot that they, but they just come out. Like I was, I forget them until I'm in the moment, and then suddenly I'm, you know, it's all like, you know, Bob's your uncle, and then people are like, what? <laughs> uh, and that just means like, da da. If you say Bob's your uncle, but I said one the other day, which really surprised me. Uh, do you know what a spanner in the works? You know what that means? I know what a spanner is. Right. So if some, if that's, if someone threw a spanner in the works. It means that someone threw like a problem into the situation. Yeah, it's a it. wrench in the, it's a wrench in the gears. I don't like that one. But that's a that's I've heard that before. Is that an actual saying here? Yeah. A wrench in the gears. Yeah. Spanner in the works. Don't you think that sounds a bit? Well, it does, of course. Trips off the tongue a little bit it's, more. It's much. I mean, more there refined. are some that Americans have better than us, but I just think. Do you know what? Some guy. So you know. Not, not in old industrial America. We have we have gears and we wrench have wrenches. Wrench in the gears. Uh, yeah, spanner, spanner in the world. Also, did you know that, you know, you know, Merriam-Webster, 
when they first started, before they were were a, a dictionary, they had the little blue book, and that was the whole purpose of it was to take things that were British and change them to be American, specifically to create American culture separate from British culture. And so they took things, probably like Spanner in the Works, and, and changed it to a wrench in the gear. Wrench in the gear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was, a, that was a real thing that happened. That was before. Before then, it just became a dictionary. I don't know how I feel about Merriam-Webster now, but that's <laughs> fine. Well, it's American. It's not. You you go to your Oxford <laughs> my dictionary. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And there's a, there are some others, but I can't think of them. But Spanner in the Works is my current one, especially because my mate was like, "What? What are you talking about?" Uh, which I quite like when people have no idea. Yeah. After all this time, 